and welcome to another West Man Regional Soccer Association interview. Today we have Sage and she just started as a summer student so she's going to tell us a little bit about herself and her soccer career. So if you could just tell us a little bit Hi. about yourself. Yeah absolutely. So like she said my name is Sage. I, um, I'm a student at BU starting into the psych nursing program as my second degree. So I already have a degree in biochemistry. I have a bit of an interesting soccer history, which we'll get into, but um, I've got a lot of good experience coaching. I've done lots of coaching for horseback riding. I um, have done lots of coaching for wakeboarding. We took, um, I took a year off after my first degree and I worked as a teacher in Spain and you know and then i'm just kind of coming back here i'm in brandon because um i'm in a relationship with somebody who got a job in brandon and because i can do my degree from here or in winnipeg i thought it may as well be brandon perfect perfect so then we'll just move on here so can you tell us a little bit about your soccer career so i started when I was really little I think everybody when they were little played a little bit of soccer um I think it was like 1999 I started at like RAC in my community center and you know I was in like the mean green orange machine or something and you know I I was like four or five so I was running down the field and I would not run down the field if my coach wasn't holding my hand um I was one of those kids and if he wasn't holding my hand, I would just sit down and I'd pick up the grass. So I, I was not super into soccer when I was really little, but it was good activity. Um, and then in between that time and when, until I was 20, I rode horses really competitively. Um, I did show jumping. And then in about 2015, I sold my horse and I started dating um, the guy that I am seeing right now. And I had been, because I was so competitive with the horses, I had so much of my life dedicated to sport that I needed something to fill up my time. And I, you know, he, he's the guy that I'm dating, William. He said to me, he's like, you know, this is, you know, it's pretty cheap to try. He's like, just come play with me sometimes. So we probably played soccer tennis and like futsal kind of style stuff for about a year um and then I kind of I joined my friend's team which was indoor which was also futsal style I'm not gonna say futsal because it wasn't regulation but like smaller ball indoor that kind of stuff um and then kind of gradually I started um playing with an outdoor Latino community in Winnipeg um, so it's usually just whoever showed up. We were lucky to have like four on four. Then um, I started playing pickup at the University of Winnipeg. And then it wasn't until like 2017 when I decided that like maybe I'd be good enough to try playing on a real team, you know? Because I, like, I don't know who gets it in their head that you have to be good enough to play on a team, but like I did. In my head, I was like, I need some sort of skill before I'm showing myself to the public. <laughs> um, so I, I started playing at like Skylight and I played indoor at U of M just on some co-ed teams. I think they were like Div 3 or something. You know, the division where like men or women who used to play like Premier and their partners who played like a really low level like to play together that's where I went and um it was a lot of fun um it was definitely more organized than anything else then I moved to um Spain after I finished my degree um and I was working out in a gym in Spain and um I was kind of talking to some of the people um who were there and they were like oh, like what do you do and I was like I'm a teacher um and they're like, oh, like, do you want to play, like, do you want to play soccer with us? They're like, you look pretty athletic, but you could probably run a little bit. And, and I was like, you know, I can run a little bit. Thank you. So I, um, 
I kind of went to a practice to see how it was, and then they asked me to play with them, um, which was the uh, EFM Conchelo de Boiro in Galicia, in Spain. Um, so I played with the women's team in that club for my duration while I was there. And now I moved home and, well, I guess I moved to Brandon, which is now home. And I joined a women's league team. And so I'm just like keeping a little bit sharp and I'm just enjoying it. It's, it's a little bit funny because I, um, I might have started later, but my boyfriend being who he is, and I'm a pretty competitive person. Um, I remember like I would go to practice somewhere and I'd be playing in a different spot than I usually would. And my, my boyfriend would make me sit down and watch Arsenal training videos so that I knew exactly where I had to be and where I had to move and how to go about it. So started late, but I caught up. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so the next question that we have for you is, how did you find out about Westman Regional Soccer Association and what made you want to become a summer student? Well, I found out about it actually. Um, my William, he works with um, the West, the Wheat Kings and his coworker's wife, she um, does a lot of work within the Westman. And so I, I think the first time I heard about it, I went over there for dinner or drinks or something. And um, they were talking about things. That's how I went onto the women's team here. Her oh. daughter plays for them. Okay. Um, I, I've also just ran into Jesse a couple times at like the field. Um, I got an email um, about the position from my coach currently. And then I also work out at Outperform. Mm -hmm. So Bobby um, said, hey, like you might be interested in this. Uh, I've just been looking for a couple different positions. And this is something that's really, really interests me. It's right up my alley. So I kind of jumped at the opportunity. Perfect. Perfect. Good to hear. And so my last question is, what are you most looking forward to in your position? It's kind of funny because I, um, I've been hired into a couple different positions. <laughs> I'm going to have a couple different jobs going into it. Um, I've been told that I'm going to help with administration stuff. I'm going to be helping with coaching. I'm going to be helping with um, event planning. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited. I'm looking forward to having that variability in what I'm doing. Um, I like not having a set um, job that I do every single day all the time. Um, and I think the biggest thing that I don't necessarily get in other jobs is that I, I feel like I'm, I'm doing something for the community with this work. Like I, I feel like it's useful on a larger scale than just mm -hmm. maybe having a paycheck. So I'm really excited to, you know, make a difference hopefully in somebody's perfect. life, even if it's just a little bit. Perfect, perfect. So those are all the questions that I have for you today. Is there anything that you'd like to add? No, I think I, I think I summed, I think I chatted quite a bit. Perfect. I don't think I have anything more. Perfect. So thank you for joining me today. And I'm sure I'll see you out coaching again sometime soon. Sounds good. <laughs>